Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on how to draw modulus graphs on a Casio FX CG50. We are going to draw the graph of the modulus of x minus 5 and on the same axes we're going to draw the graph of the modulus of 2x plus 1 and then finally we're going to find the coordinates of the intersections of the two graphs. From the main menu we need to select 5 for graph and then to access the modulus function or otherwise known as the absolute value function we need to press option F5 for numeric and then we can see it listed here ABS abs that's absolute function press F1 and you can see that we've got the two bars there to input our modulus function so in there we want to write X minus 5 and execute so let's take a look, look at the graph it's F6 for draw not quite in the center of the screen you can use the navigation buttons to center it if we press F3 for V window we can broaden what we can see on the screen let's go for the X minimum of negative 20 and max of 20 and the same for the Y and this will help us to see our intersections when we introduce the second graph from part B and then once we've inputted those execute exit and draw and you can see that the scale has altered on the axes there. We can see a little bit more of the graph of the modulus of X minus five. But let's input our second graph from part B. So exit and then we'll choose Y2, which will be in red. Remember it's option F5 numeric F1 for abs absolute. And then it's two X plus one, two X plus one execute and draw and you can see we have our first graph there still in blue and our second graph the modulus of 2x plus 1 in red and you can see that there's two intersection points there where the two graphs cross and we can actually find the coordinates of these by using the gsolve function so it's f5 and then f5 again for intersect and here we have the coordinates of the first intersection point. It is negative six and 11. So minus six, 11. And then if you just press right on the navigation key, you've got the coordinates of the second intersection point. They're given here as a decimal, but I believe we've got uh, X as four thirds there and Y as 11 thirds, if we were going to give those as a fraction. Second question now, solve the modulus of 6x minus 2 equals 2x using a graphical method so we're going to plot these two graphs on the calculator press exit and then if we just delete these off f2 and f1 to confirm and let's input our new graphs remember it's option f5 numeric f1 abs 6x minus 2 as our first graph navigate down y2 that's going to be 2x just 2x there no modulus function this time execute and then f6 to draw and you can see well it's fairly close there it's quite near the bottom of the graph of the modulus of 6x minus 2 let's just zoom in here f2 and in so this is a scale minus 10 to 10 on the window. It still looks quite close. Nevertheless, we can still use the G-Solve function to find the intersect points, and that will be our solution. So we're interested in the X values here as our solutions. So we've got X equals 0.25, so a quarter, which is one of the solutions. We've got the corresponding Y value as, as well. And then navigate right, and we've got our second solution, which is x equals 0.5, which is obviously also a half and the corresponding y value of 1. So there we go, how you can draw a modulus graph or an absolute function graph on the Casio FX CG50 and use it to help solve uh, equations that are involving the modulus function uh, using the intersection points on the graphs. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos, but that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time on The Calculator Guide.